pretty good session, actually. I always enjoy um, getting to do sessions with players of more of that level of play because it feels more streamlined and I feel like it's a lot easier to give the advice they need, you know? Hey guys, it's me, Motive Games. I'm just here to remind y'all that if you're enjoying the content, drop a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe leave us a comment knowing what kind of content you'd like to see going forward into the future. My editor does a really good job on these videos and works really hard. And any little bit of insight you can give us on what you'd like to see more is really helpful. Enjoy the video. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Oh, perfect. How's it going, NB? Good to have you today. Thank you. All right, so uh, I had your thing pulled up earlier, but I fucking put it away. So what do you want to work on today? Uh, mostly like mid-game stuff. Um, generally, I, I've got a pretty good idea what's going on early game and, and whatnot. I tend to have very hit or miss like mid-game transitional phases where I'm either not finding any animals and I just fall super mm -hmm. behind, or I manage to find animals and then I farm routes and proceed to steamroll the lobby. Right. So, so yeah, I'm let's... very hit or miss. And watch an oppie. Okay, so let's start with general questions then. Uh, how much of the, my content of like this, like how many coaching sessions of mine have you watched before? Uh, three to four, I'd probably say. So you know about how the general flow of this goes by now, I would guess. It's pretty similar sure, for a yeah. lot of things. Um, so I, you know, uh, link me or dac.gg actually, if you don't mind. I should start including that in the thing. That would because I can actually learn a lot from a player and meet, like just by looking at that, and that'll give me a better idea of where you sit. Gotcha. How would I rank Emma? I think Emma's pretty solid. Hi, Abe. <clears throat> I think she's kind of fallen down, but she's still really good, and I think S tier is debatable, but I just haven't really seen a lot of Emma's at the moment. Okay. Let's move display capture up, close this. <laughs> Float to your character and needs major buffs. Okay, sure. Right, so you've got a good diversity here. You've played a solid amount of games. Uh, it does look like you're doing pretty decently. 13% win rates in normals. Are you playing primarily in... Yeah, you're playing in NA. Okay. Yeah. Because that does matter if you're playing in NA or EU. Uh, right. EU normals are a different beast. <laughs> All right, so um, how does your food feel when you're playing? Do you feel like you're running out of food mid-game and scrambling to create more, or do you feel like you're able to like solidly create what you need throughout the game? I definitely lack creation. Um, I, I get decent food on my main route, and right. honestly hope that uh, people I kill have better food for me. Okay. Um, to be fair. <laughs> so that's something we can talk Time about later. Time to troll! Just make, make sure to remind me about that. Uh, real time, real time. thank you for the follow -up. And then um, SP, uh, same thing, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I don't normally have SP problems because I tend to play Jackie and not run out of SP very often. Yeah. Um, and whatever I need, I can usually pretty easily just pick up. Mm -hmm. And then, so you already mentioned animals. So, what's your... Okay, well... Let's start with one of the more obvious things because you've mentioned this already. Um, do you know when animal, uh, how long it takes for animals to respawn, specifically wolves and bears? I know bears are five minutes. Okay, wolves are four minutes. All right. So knowing that, the first set of wolves spawns at three minutes. Or no, two minutes. Sorry, the first set of wolves spawns at two minutes. When do you think they're going to respawn? If they're killed immediately, six minutes. Yes, it normally takes about 10 seconds to kill them, right? If you're there right, right on the dot, you can kill them pretty quickly. So right. what I'm going to say is that if you're playing a routing and you kill wolves on spawn, you should absolutely go back to those wolves when it's time for you to farm, right? Especially if you're right. done around that time period. Um, but if you're not, I would recommend, so let's say you finish your build at like five minutes and 30 seconds, and now you need to decide, okay, what do I want to do? Once you could look to like go to those areas where there's wolves will be respawning and you could just look to take someone else's stuff. You get what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you mentioned that you're going to areas and finding animals dead. This plays a big part into it. So if it's six to seven minutes into the game, specifically around six minutes and uh, 30 seconds to seven minutes, you should be going to wolf zones because they'll be spawning their second time if they were killed optimally, uh, which will happen a lot more in high elo games. 
and then you can look to contest someone for those wolves. You'll get a fight. You may get the wolves. You may be a little bit late. It happens. Um, and then bears. Bears spawn, oh, I think it's three minutes. They spawn like, they respawn like eight to nine minutes into the game. Uh, so around that period, you could be looking to go back to finding bears, you know, that are respawning. Um, okay. So it, this is more so to preface that it's like, the biggest thing to making sure what you're talking about doesn't happen is to have your own farming ground and to be farming your animals on spawn. If you can't do that, or you happen to miss a rotation, this is the easiest way to get back into it, is to look for these timings in the game for when animals will be respawning. And we'll kind of reinforce that as we play. Okay. Um, now, another thing to think about now is that animals aren't nearly as important anymore. Well, they kind of still are, right? But there's Alpha and Omega now. There's more objectives to contest, so you can kind of use objectives to take the place if you happen to just be on a build that wants those items or you're uh, just off rotation. Okay. So, what build will you be playing today? Uh, you want me to just share it? Mm -hmm. Or share screen for yes. it? I think I'm gonna add respawn timer soon. That's the plan. That's what I've been running. Okay. Mm hmm. Pretty standard. Yeah. I think mm, your routing could be slightly different. Uh, for an example, I have routing that's very similar to this. Let me... Not so much to say, like, oh, you need to change your routing, but it's like, there are right. options, is what I'm trying yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely have, like, uh, situational differences. Fuck, what did, it. I, what did I do with it? I must have gotten rid of it. Shit. Uh, but yeah, it's like, use Plasma Arc instead of Radar. And then you go, right. like, uh, Beach... You loot the like beginning part of uptown, then you go to docks, and then you go to forest, and you finish a lot of the same things. Uh, headpiece gotcha. though is still a bitch. You'll have to go to like fifth zone school regardless, and I think uh, maybe that could be a little bit better for you, specifically because I think feather boots is in a better spot than Bucephalus since crit's been nerfed. Okay, I actually do tend to transition into feather boots um, or white rhinos depending. Mm -hmm. um, I used <clears throat> to only transition feather boots, but then I started going white rhinos just because healing reduction. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I tend to, in school, grab an extra bandage and then go up into archery range and get feather boots. Well, and then archery range to get the boots and then run down forest for feather boots, but... So then uh, what I would recommend, because it sounds like these are all things you want anyways, is yeah. to try um, this. Let me get back into the Discord chat. I posted it in Discord. Okay. Oh, change the routing. Shit. It's beach first, not forest. Forest is fourth. Okay. Um, and we'll kind of talk about how I route this really fast. Okay. Yeah, I will say, I, like, looking at it, I see from dock to somewhere else, I always go, well, I feel like I'm going to get stuck <clears throat> in dock because I'm so far from anything. <laughs> It can be, but you can kind of like just walk through chapel if you miss something and then you can like reloot. Uh, like, let's say if you okay. miss piano wire, you can get it from chapel. Um, but the big thing here is that um, when you go into uptown, just loot the containers right above you, like at the play playground and those cards and stuff. Yeah. And then you just immediately TP to dock. So in, in reality, your second zone is dock and your third zone is uptown. But if those containers aren't looted, you can skip uptown basically. Okay. So you can like speed it up this way and I'll kind of walk you through it when we play it if you want to. You don't have to. We can play your Bucephalus route if you're familiar with that and comfortable with it and you'd rather stick to that. This is just an alternate routing that you may enjoy. Okay. So let's go ahead and queue up, unless you have other questions. Uh, Not off the bat. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. mm. Turn my AC on. It's hot. 
Where do you live, if you don't mind me asking? State. I uh, very recently moved to West Virginia. Hmm. Yeah. How do you like mm. it? Uh, it's hot. I uh, I lived in Colorado for most of my life. Uh, moved out here to the East Coast for a job last year, and uh, humid and warm. I imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> SSJ Knight says the fucking weirdest shit in chat sometimes. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh yeah, I I didn't build it on Dagger Star. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all good. I mean, yeah, I so that's something you'll have to change eventually because it's it's right. just free. I actually like this morning. I think changed this build to be Dagger Start just because the little extra move speed at the beginning of the game is mm -hmm. you know, a tiny bit of min max. Yeah, another reason why I've been liking Beach Start is because Hospital is so fucking contested. Beach is yeah, free. Yeah, I I have realized with this build at least that no matter where I spawn at hospital I can get everything yeah. because you don't need pseudo randomness I, I can get all of my items from one location no matter what that is one of the upsides of playing a build that needs one of most of its items yeah. chat singing country roads at this point I, I actually had a friend who when I told him I moved out here, uh, we were in Discord and he was asking me why I don't sing it more often and proceeded to sing it for like 20 minutes straight. It was kind of <laughs> awful. <laughs> the weird thing for me, I was overseas when that song started picking up last year, or not last year, but like a few years ago, I guess at this point. And uh, they were singing it in Europe. It was a surprising thing. That's funny. Texting disable subscriber mode. <laughs> Unless you're gonna start gifting subs again to the people who can't chat. And you can't afford that. Highlight my message, Project Neo. <laughs> Stairs. You know, just because I said that, he's probably gonna gift. Anyways. Ugh. Can't even afford my car insurance in three days. No. Get fucked. Nice. My best friendo. Yo, SSJ Knight. Thank you for the subscription. Really appreciate it, buddy. I'd be more hyped about it, but I don't want to ruin this man's ears. By the way, you fucking contested my route earlier. I am not I know, appreciative I know. of that. I, I, saw, I saw that you were playing Rosie or Razi, and I was like, hmm, that sounds fun. Let me get a game in. And then I realized I was in the same game as you, and we were running the same route. <laughs> Just to prove a point. Let's see, so we have some Zen Vitality Enjoyers here. Yeah, Rat Jammer in his builds always puts like what you should be uh, crafting, crafting for, food. for food early game, and, and this build was Zen Vitality, and I've done it ever since. Yeah, it's pretty good. Put a few words, does he? It's okay. I I haven't told you that for resubbing to me. I would pick up those stones before we walked by because. Okay. If the inventory is a little tight, but once you finish crafting this quiver and stuff, like, yeah, it'll get fair. a little bit better. I do tend to pick up stones somewhere in the. 
region between school and, and Av, just because I'm pathing there anyway. Right. Those normally aren't there anyway, so it's like, just for right here, it's like it could have helped a little bit, but we're missing slippers gotcha. anyway, so it's not a big deal. The idea is if you had picked them up right now, you would have, what, boots done, which would speed you up slightly, so it's like a minor efficiency, but we're talking okay, yeah, gotcha. literal seconds at this point, right? So fuck it. Yeah, no, that makes sense, though. So now we just need... What are we missing for radar? What? Oh, paper. I didn't get paper from Temple. Gotcha. Yeah, it happens. It's one of the reasons why I actually stopped making paper, uh, radar on this build and I started using Arc Shield instead because it's more consistent. And then if I ever gotcha. find radar, I swap over. It's just a byproduct of the meta. Uh, I would have yeah. checked that crate on the right, but it's fine. You can check the one on the left on your way in, just because it's like, oh well, I guess never mind. You're going to archery range. Ignore me. Yeah, You're that's, find that's what I'm there anyways. <clears throat> you were you were completely correct by moving on because it's you're better off coming here to loot these containers because it's more efficient. Right. Okay. I am well aware that not all the things I'm going to say is correct, so I'm I'm ready to admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> no worries. You missed the other wolf docking points. Yep. <laughs> We're done here. I That's already fine. know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, you missed I, a lot actually. Yeah, I did. But I, I do think moving on was correct, so don't feel too bad. Okay. Okay, so now is where my pathing feels like it would get a little funky. Right. And that I need this short rod and I also want to get a feather from somewhere. But you can't find any place that has short rod and feather in the same zone, so that kind of sucks. Right. Um, so, but, remember what I said, right? It's five minutes now, so you've got a little bit of times until wolf spawns. So where do you want to okay. go? Check those wolves, by the way. They can drop feather duster, which you need. Okay. I do get lazy about checking wolves. And all animals, for that matter. Boars can drop feathers as well, so... Okay. Okay, so when we're leaving here, it's about to be 5.30. Um, what's closing other than this? Factory. So, if you want to get your short rod online, going to docks or pond is fine if you are okay setting that aside and contesting for animals, going to hospital is probably the play after checking this. So these were just killed, so hospital's probably fine. You could also, yeah, so you see the Rio's there in hospital, so it's like if you wanted to go there and feel like you could contest Rio for those animals, it'd probably be like worth doing. But, you know, it's a preference, you know, uh, this is a perfectly acceptable. Oh. Never mind. It's not acceptable anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, your accessory, or your weapon skill is so fucking good that it doesn't matter. Yeah. So sure. now we'll head into hospital. Because we want to contest those uh, those wolves. Okay. Pawn bear's got hands, facts. <clears throat> Do you feel confident fighting Rio in this situation? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. So she's on bottom right. Check the wolves before we walk to her. They're spawning in just a second, so let's grab console. Yeah, let's ignore her and just kill wolves. Check the bodies. They're second spawn wolves, so they can have RNG items now. Okay. Rio's coming up to us, sit in the bush. Oh, oh. this is fine. You can no, no, it's fine. If you want to fight her, you can, you don't have to though. I think you jumped a little early because it's that. Uh but it's fine. Yeah. I can kind of just walk at her now. She don't have ult. So, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, she fucked up. Well, she's just gonna end then. My only complaint up. there is I think you should have queued at some point, but it's fine. Yeah. Because yeah. three point Q is gonna do more damage than an auto attack when you don't have ult up because there's not the stacking bleed. But uh, you did it fine. Um, I would have saved you for her. It's like at that point you just save your jump, walk at her, use your W yeah. to close the gap, and then when she jumps away, that's when you jump. That's the only difference I would do there. Don't forget to check the bodies. Uh, so here I would look to TP out. Okay. I was thinking coming here for feathers to get feather boots. That's fine if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Let's check this blue crate as well, and then pick up this ice. And then the camera is also nice. Perfect. Do you want to? So what do you want to do with this? That's a great question. I get four scores and go, hmm, now what? And then don't do anything with them. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. It's kind of rough. Uh, but worst case scenario, you can make a four score and then you can make a remote mine. So it's like, it's always a good idea for that. Okay, well, that's a great upgrade if I get... It is. No, it's a great upgrade no matter what. So we're going to need a meteorite. Are there any meteorites on the map? Nope. So you'll okay. have to, there's one in Actually, there's one in temple, but I don't know if you want to waste time or you can I won't stop you. Oh, there's no longer one in temple. Well, that means someone's about to come out of temple. Yeah. Drop the camera in the bush. Or not. They might have already left. So they might be down there. If it's a movement speed heavy character like Yuki. Oops. Bad direction with the D-Scale, but I think the yeah. rest of it was actually really good. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, so there's your Meteor, right? Do you want... No, you don't. I was gonna say, do you want Myth Quiver, but it doesn't stack with Santa Marcia, so don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so do you want to equip the myth chest or just not yet? I tend... Uh, that's actually a good question. Tend to wait until you get like an upgrade like VF Blood Mask? Yeah. I've been doing the same thing on Bernice. I very rarely get it. And Muerte and my W, since it's now fully maxed, and D usually gives me enough anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, you should have taken that out of the crate. What? The what food? Oh. There were chocolate boxes in the crate when you opened it, and you kind of just ignored them, and it's like... just not click them? Yeah, oh. there... Or, wait, there was something in there. I don't know. You've got chocolate boxes. What was it? It was something I good. got those off his body, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. I just completely ignored them. Uh, you can't go that way, so let's go into hotel uh, hospital again. Okay. <clears throat> when did you kill wolves? Do you remember? The hospital wolves? Uh-huh. No. I believe it was close to eight minutes, so your wolves will be spawning in one minute. I wouldn't okay. say it's worth waiting around for it, right. but, you know, it's one of those things to think about. You can check the purple crate. It's not needed, but it's like, it could have a VF blood, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the most likely scenario. I go from here, though. I don't even like there's anything that important up. Nope. Um, do you want to do remote lines? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Nothing better. So we can go to cemetery to do this. Yeah, I was slightly off. You killed them at like 7.30. Mithril? You could do Myth Helm. So yeah, yeah I think that's my best upgrade. I would also probably... Once you kill this dog, ignore the other dog and just kill the wolves okay. and then just move on. I would also drink or drop the Tree of Life, actually. Okay. That you have, because you're probably not going to get use out of that. And we need inventory slots to start getting things together to make. Do you remember the crafting recipe for... Four score? For... You didn't check the other wolf, by the way. Yeah. Uh, it's stones and, uh, or iron ore and mousetrap, right? Yes. Okay. So the big thing you need here is mousetrap. You can get iron ore in forest. 
Also, you should take a look at the map and keep in mind where Wickland's going to be headed. Okay. Most likely forest. She will absolutely be going to forest, forest, yes. Forest. Okay. Welcome home. I guess I should probably also be looking for mask upgrade. You okay? Yeah, I'm doing a session. <clears throat> yeah, let's just head to forest at this point. Okay. The mask upgrade would have been nice, but it'll be okay. Ooh. Okay. He jumped a little early, but it's fine. He actually hit a Z. I didn't think he hit a Z there. Why I jumped. His vision range is absurd. I forgot. You should just reactivate your ultimate to get it off uh, and get the cooldown started. Uh, he's right behind you. Do not stop. So basically, with this matchup, you need to make him miss your E and then go- make him miss his E and then get on top of him. Yeah, and you can heal off animals as you kind of like route around things. Feel free to like W at him, but it's like, it's still gonna be rough, you know? Yeah. And then keep an eye on Wick. So if someone's doing Wick right now, you can tell because it dashed. Actually, the knife, yeah. Now you can jump on him. Okay. No way. Yeah, I mentioned the jump for a reason. You you need to stick on top of him. Do not let him have that. Uh... His E should be back up in just a second. Okay, good shit, good shit. Good job, oh, man. that was it. Yeah, that was oh, it. I didn't even realize that was it. So he had Wick aggro, so the reason jumping on top of him is so important there is because it buys Wick a line time to get on top of him, so then you can kind of stack okay. the damage from the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and the tampon doesn't have any mobility, so... Right. Um, <clears throat> however, when you dead save it, once you see him cast his ult animation, then you just immediately jump on top of him. Because the big okay. thing is, yeah, he has no mobility, you know? So once you right. get on top of him, you kind of stay there, as long as he doesn't have a Z. That was a really good game, so we can go ahead and play another one. Um, I won't say I have much feedback there, but I was trying to work around what you had given me earlier, you know, with like... Sure, sure, yeah. ...farming for the animals and stuff. Do you feel like that was helpful? It was. I, I definitely um, had more ideas of where to be going rather than just running around looking for animals <laughs> randomly. Right. So, I'll try this build. And from what you've told me, that's what I feel like is going to, like, probably help the most, is just getting yeah, into that point. Yeah, it is, because generally when I'm on curve or ahead, My best just fine. I just right, feel like right. staying on that curve is a coin flip for me. Yeah, no, it definitely can be. And if we can remove that, you'll probably see much better success. Right. Alicat, thank you for the tier one subscription for four months. Really appreciate it, friend. Hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> I think one of the other things is you're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? You're very quick about using your mobility to jump on top of people to like start the fight, and that can definitely be good, but I, and I haven't seen this too much just yet, but I need you to keep in mind, uh, opponents that have mobility spells to get away. Well, the Rio was a great example, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, they used our yeah, E yeah. to jump on top, but she's just right. going to use her E to make distance, and then the fight's favorable for her. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it's like, there may be situations where it's like, you could get like an okay trade by jumping in, but we can be a little greedier and like W in first, close the distance, and then force them to use their mobility first, and then E becomes like so much better. Yeah. I do like that you're not just like throwing out Q immediately in a lot of situations. You are waiting to find good times to use it, but I feel like there are situations where you probably could use it and you're not. 
Okay, I'm but definitely. I more think scared. where you're at is better than just using it like to start every okay. fight. You know. Right. Yeah, I, I actually very recently started putting three points Q before maxing E. I used to just max E. And so I think at that point it was better to just not Q because it doesn't do anything at that point. But um, I've been doing three points E because it's or three points Q because it's so much better for early game farming. Right. It is. I feel like overcommitting E is a very bad idea. I mean, it is like if you just E on top of people and they jump away. That's but that's what I kind of meant, you know. Keep in mind, you can miss the piano wire here. It's not a big deal. Your next zone has it as well. And then if you miss again, you can go to um, chapel Chap to fix it. Right. Okay. And then, yep, perfect. And then we check this, all the ones going up. We're lucky, it has everything we need. Yep. Just these four, basically? Uh, the one above as well, the car, because it's like, okay. As long as you check this one, you should get boots every time. Yep. Then you can equip your weapon, head on to the next zone, and you're good. I like to pick up chocolate while I'm here, by the way, and I do chocolate buy boxes for food, but it's not a big deal. Okay. You can pick up uh, glass bottles while you're in docks and do potions in forest if you really want. So, okay. But you'll notice this is the hell, right? This is where you need like three yeah. short rods. Um, so once you loot this also, box, I would head back down and go back to the main thing. If you miss short rods, like, you really only need one. Two is ideal. Three is, like, the dream. Okay. <laughs> it's real dumb. <clears throat> you could grief with this build if you choose to. I don't really think it's worth it. But I really don't like griefing with it because my attack speed is just so low early. Yeah, that it takes I fucking forever. But you can't kill this dog. myself when I attack. So now we just really need um, at least one battery. Two batteries isn't necessary. One is nice. Okay. And you'll see this is why I bring like chocolate pie boxes because I might be here for a while and then some people might come by to fight and they give me that survivability in case things do go bad. Um, the docks like right, like the docks is very hit or miss depending on the meadow, but lately no one's been at docks, so it's not nearly as bad, you know. Right. But this game, fuck, we're struggling. There we go. Yeah, so at this point, I probably, after you check this box, would just look to leave. Okay. And then you can take, like, the movement speed booster from Chapel, or you can just keep walking left to go through Uptown, whichever one you like more. Yep. Porcano Los Dos. And then just up him. Mm -hmm. And then your first one will go to Arm Piece. Your first D parts, I mean. And then keep in mind you can drop an oil cloth that you're holding and then you're good. And then once you find food to replace this bread, you'll be fine. But this is where now you just need your last leather and then you're pretty much like fine. The feathers is the other hard part about this build, but our uh, forest is out of rotation for a lot of builds at the moment. So normally you're able to get them. Right. <clears throat> Don't forget to pick that, that egg up. Okay. And then check that crate right next to you. Stop this crate, please. Game. It can be okay, hard. I'm not checking it. That's fine. Uh, if you hold down <laughs> Alt, you should be able to click on it, no problem. Okay. I wouldn't make this. I would actually. Oh, maybe you can. Ult. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, yeah. you needed to auto and then ult uh, to finish them yeah. off. Um. So that's a situation where you actually want to queue immediately. For Barbara, you need to kill her turret as fast as possible. Um, okay. That yeah. one was definitely I, winnable. I but I actually straight up thought it was an Adriana when I started fighting. I don't know why. <laughs> it's fine, man. Yeah. So because she committed to old W, time to do troll. Is just kill the turret. And then you should be fine for the rest of the day. Sleep okay. eight zero one zero five. Think of the fall. Really appreciate it, man. Hope you enjoy the content.
I don't know why, but I first read your name and I was immediately thinking that you're like spies alt or something. My name? No, not yours. The uh, oh, sleep oh, guy who just followed. Just because it's like the three numbers, it's very similar to how like Spy does his name. Mm. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I think that. Do you? How do you feel about that version versus the other one? Um, I, I think I, I definitely like the the speediness of the routing. Yeah. Um, it feels faster. You have the chance to miss, though, depending on how many people start zones. So it's like it can sure. be very hit or miss. But sure, if you're yeah. able to get all your leather and you get the forest, that's normally where you're fine. Right. I think it might get worse going into ranked season because Averse will be coming back. So people will be playing Hyojin again. Okay. But the upside of having dogs, dogs, oh, my southern accent came out. The upside of having dogs in docks is that we can actually guarantee at least one or two leather before leaving, depending on how okay. like deep we have to go into docks. Yeah. So how long have you been playing? Uh, two-ish months. Not, Not too bad. sure. There was there was one night I was getting drunk with friends, and one of them suggested this game, and I was like, okay, and I was hooked. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I've been playing League for longer than I would like to have. Yeah, um, I quit League yeah. back in Season 8, and I've never regretted it. Gotcha. I, I still play, you know, a couple times a week, I'd say. But um, I had a Rage Quit game today that has me out for a little while, because I just don't want to play that game right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> uh, real time, the biggest difference is... Uh, pretty much exactly as Topic A says. Um, it's honestly just routing efficiency and then uh, macro mechanics. And I know that sounds like it's very unhelpful, but it's like... That's because it's being generalized a bit. So it's like... The difference between a gold and a plat player is that a plat player finishes their build extremely efficiently on time, pretty much every time. They're always there to be able to fight whenever objectives are up, whereas a gold player might find hiccups in their routing. Uh, and then gold players will often run into the problem where it's like they'll hit mid game and they really don't know where to go or what to do and they don't have a good generalized sense of what to do in the mid game. Whereas plat players normally have a pretty solid idea of like, okay, you know, I'm going to contest like hospital wolves at this point in the game, and then I'm going to contest pawn bears right after, and then I'm going to set up to fight for wick, and I'll have this food set up and ready. Gold players will finish their build and often enough be like, okay, uh, I think I want to go do this, and then they'll like go to Avenue. Six minutes into the game. Which is a terrible idea because there's no objectives to fight for in Avenue. There's no animals that drop RNG. There's like boars and some dogs, but no one's going to be there. So it's like, that's the kind of mistakes a gold player would make. I feel like you're describing me right now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Has that happened to you recently? You found yourself oh, yeah, night I mean, one so going to Avenue just for the fuck of it? Well, that has occasionally happened, yeah. It's happened less because I've realized that every time I go Avenue randomly, um, nothing happens. It's, yeah, no, that's my point. Is it's like no one else is going Avenue because they're all like, I'm going to go to Uptown or I'm going to... The most common areas I see people night one when I'm looking at that point is Uptown, Hotel, and, and Pond. Pond is okay. in, in docks in some meadows. At the moment, I only say Pond because we're seeing a lot of people finish their builds in Pond. So like it shifts de depending on the meadow, but like Uptown and right. Hotel are pretty consistent regardless. <clears throat> I definitely feel like Wix spawn being moved back has hurt me. And Wix spawn being moved back is terrible for the entire I, yeah, meta. I, I feel like I just hate it. It, it seems <laughs> like it's it's only spawning when there's 
three, four people left half the time. And it's either creates a complete fiesta or someone randomly gets it while other people are fighting. So when we get into high elo meta, you're actually going to notice something drastically different. In high elo meta, um, Wick, seven to eight people will still be alive by that point in the game. Because players are just much better about surviving at that point, right? Sure. No one's going to engage it. Everyone's just going to sit around and wait until someone fucks up and accidentally starts Wick or gets put out in a bad position. And then it's a giant fucking brawl. And it's toxic. It's the most I've unfun gameplay I've actually, loop I've ever seen. I've actually been in 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 games where that has happened. It's just a, a complete <laughs> standoff at Wick, and and then all of a sudden there's four people fighting at once. Yep. And the big thing often, like I've even seen games where it's like it goes to final zone, and Wick despawns in final zone, and that's some people's intention is to get Wick off the map because their character doesn't need it as much as others. So they will literally just poach it, and anyone that wants it. And it's toxic because the other problem is that in this meta, whoever gets Wickaline wins half the time. Ooh, curse spawn behind the Yuki. Holy shit. I would have used your movement speed to actually move up and loot those first to the uh, okay. left. Because now you have to walk to them, right? And then you have to yeah. walk to uptown. But you got everything, so we're fine. Yeah. <clears throat> so what happens if you miss in uptown like those crates so let's say you open like the first three crates and they're just fucking empty i would just move on because that shows that someone's been there okay and then when you leave docks you go into uptown instead of going into forest so it's like this is ideal right where we come into here we loot these and we get everything chocolate okay yeah you can grab it on your way back <clears throat> Check that one. Okay, check that. Yep, right there. And then that'll be your food for the early game. <clears throat> so I would just eat the other hamburg uh, the other bread, make that choco pie, right. and then when you find a box, you're good. <clears throat> and you can carry bottles if you want. Okay. Start with boots. Obviously, you know that. Picking up uh, coffee to like chug down. I like that. That's good. So check this barrel and then start working your way upwards instead of going in that building. Because that left side is the most commonly looted area, whereas if we start making right. our way right, right, we'll start hitting boxes that normally aren't looted and we have a higher chance. <clears throat> yeah, I completely agree with this decision to move on. Please? No. Yeah, he took it. Rip. You can check these. Sometimes they're not looted. <laughs> the bath's down. Shit. That's annoying. That one's up, though. I would pick up the honey. And then make two things of hot honey, and then don't forget to drop your oil cloth. You're probably used to holding on to it because you need to make a second set of boots, but you don't need to. Uh, don't forget that bat had leather. Okay. Which is actually the entire reason we kill it, is because it has like a small chance to drop leather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and getting that leather actually is going to clean up your build a lot. Perfect, now you're done with shield. So now we just need a battery and a short rod. Both of the items we want uh, can be dropped by wolves. So I think it's a good idea to walk up to see if forest wolves are up. Okay. <clears throat> also, as a side note, because of how often you kill animals, I highly recommend actually leveling your passive before W, I think. 
Okay. Because the problem is low elo players will not keep Jackie's passive up often enough for it to matter, but it's like, it's a big fucking deal, you know? Gotcha. Like, it is a nice chunk of AP. So, like, you're at 222 right now, and we'll s I'll remind you when it falls off so that we can see what it, what it is. I'll go into hotel instead of walking this way. The wolves in hotel right here can be spawned. Gotcha. So then we'll walk to the right afterwards. Yep. And then you can kill this guy. No! No, that's fine. That's perfect. His jump is, or his pull is broke. I shouldn't have auto. Yeah, you should have just walked out, but auto. it's fine. It's fine. So you can take that motor helm that's on the ground. Oops. Oh, come on. Check the wolf. And then kill the other one. And now let's go into school. And you can equip the motor helm because it's better than what you've got. Right. Um. So we're at two, three, fuck, it hasn't worn off yet. There's a person to your left, keep that in mind. You don't have to fight them, just pointing it out. In case you miss it. I totally did. Yeah, uh, the footsteps came in for like just a second. Gotcha. <clears throat> it can also be an audio bug. Especially when it comes in that short, sometimes I just run it off because sometimes the, your character will make footsteps twice if you're on like weird elevation. Yes. So okay. nice. in that situation, nice. it's like I kind of just pointed out to be like, hey, there might be someone there. Picking up cameras also isn't a terrible idea, but I agree with like just hyper focusing on these scissors. We missed. So at this point, is there anywhere where we can get scissors and batteries? No, right? No. Oh. So let's do the scissors first and alley. We can kill this. Uh, the other option is to go for, instead of making tack ops, we could have set up to go kill Alpha, right? Which wouldn't okay. have been a bad idea. In right, fact, yeah. grabbing that steel chain would actually like push us towards doing that. We can actually just go for it now. Um, see if we can get it. Kill that bear, or no. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Alpha. No, that's fine, yeah. Okay. And then once we're done with Alpha, we can go to maybe Pond. Uh... <clears throat> Do not commit your ult to alpha. Save your ult in case someone comes in to uh, fuck with you. Okay. Yeah, Myth Helm is what we want. Fuck Myth Quiver. On this character, yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then check this blue crate. When you're done killing the dog. That's- this is fine too. Yeah, whichever order. Just make sure we do both. Do you feel like you could fight her? Usually... I also feel like I could dodge everything and possibly still die. Yeah, I understand. I think if you wanted to fight her, you definitely could. Like this one. This is free. Oh, this is hard free. No. Yeah, we had to reposition to avoid the stun. You can still catch her. She's not out. Yeah. Okay, man. Very close. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Chill. So, uh, I don't think she had what you're looking for. No. Yeah, because Jolly Roger is null effective on this. Do you know the reasoning why? No. I will preface it with that st uh, slows work the exact same way they do in League, right? And just keep in mind your oh, E okay, has a slow. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah. So normally you jump onto people to engage and then you auto. So it's like it, right. the slow of Jolly Roger is worse than the slow of E. So you get nothing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yuki? Oh, it's Lucid. He's free. Kill these bears, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I just like talking shit at the end of the day. Okay, now I'm like... I think you could fight that Yuki. I don't think there was any reason to be afraid of him. 
I just have no idea where he went. Oh, uh, we saw noise on the like the very, very right side. So if you use like right outside of your vision range there. Gotcha. So let's make our way to temple because we can't go into avenue. We want to be TPing out soon. Bear should be respawning. So it's like going into or should have already respawned by now. So going into temple okay. is not a terrible idea. Okay. Also, there's three fucking people in temple. So keep that in mind. We just saw three different sets of pings. Why am I wasting time on this? I don't know. As long as you accept that you did waste your time. <laughs> it's Panda Bagel. We can assume that that's probably him above you. Yeah. Console is a good thing to grab There's here. There's four people left. Yep, there he is to your right. Panda Bagel probably doesn't have his ultimate, so I feel like this is a fight you can take. Okay. But at the same time, it's a fight that I feel like um, he can just run away from, so I wouldn't commit too much. Yeah, yeah. We know there's nothing to the right, um, so I, yeah, I would just walk off. Okay. Hit him, okay. Um, yeah, let's do this, and then I would say go to forest again. Okay. Or Sim, forest or Sim. The idea is to get another feather because you want to set up for uh, VF Blood Mask, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go top of forest then. Or over here. Works for Perfect. me as well. Now hit him again. Wick lines or sorry, tab. Wick line spawning in two minutes and thirty seconds, so keep that in mind. She's not gonna be ready yet, so what can we do to prepare for Wickaline in the meantime? Okay, I don't actually know. We already have RNG prepped, so the only thing you're missing is cameras. So let's focus on bats for a little bit. Bats and okay. boars, because boars have a bunch of HP, because we're already in this zone, right? So let's get this boar to the left. It's dead, sad life. Has great wick clear. She does have great wick clear. You could go into chapel to fight, uh, because there are people there, and I don't think that's a terrible idea. Okay. The other idea is, of course, you can make a force court, but I don't need you'd just be it, yeah. making traps. No, no, I don't want to deal with this. Okay, okay, bye. Yep, there you go. Just keep walking. Oh, she got the speed boost. Not fair. You'll be fine. You're already out of range. Yep, she's Dude, best in God. slot. That's a walking monster. So let's go into hotel. The wolves should be up on the right side because you killed them, unless okay. someone else has yeah. already killed them. Half life and two hits. Yep. S tier character. Myth chest, maybe? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting confused. You can go into archery range to get that. I would drop the orchids you're holding on to. You're never going to do anything with them. And there was someone to your left, so if you wanted to look to make fights, that would be the place to do it. Okay. So just keep in mind, we don't want to waste a bunch of time in here, so let's do a quick look around, and then we'll leave. Okay. Because Wickeline's spawning in 40 seconds. Okay. We don't want to give someone a wick for free. Yep. So let's open this crate and kill, uh, take that, that too, because that can upgrade our cameras. Well, and then I want you to go back to the other box that you opened right before this. There's camera and gunpowder in there, and I want you to use that to upgrade to a different set of cameras. Okay, let's get going to forest, because that's where Wick's going to go. Yeah, we don't want to waste anything. Use your E to cover distance. Perfect. <clears throat> Yeah, with the uh, with her, absolutely, it's a great idea to have this on, and we'll just keep That's an eye. Alley. That's interesting. She might not be. It's something. It's something I've noticed. When zones are going to close, she goes somewhere else. Yeah, used to be she would still go to forest anyways, but yeah, I know. It's a, it's a very recent thing that I discovered. Bandit Bagel killed Lucid. I would say if we can get on top of her, you just use like your, uh, there, keep in mind someone's directly north of you. So like if you try to start this, someone will probably hop on you.
It is like probably the Cicela. Around. Good idea. Can I just start this? Okay, I'm just gonna start it. Just keep, I can safely do it. Yeah, kiting away from the Cicela and you'll be fine because she's coming over to you already. I'm just not even gonna continue it. Yep, that's pretty much all you need to do. Just keep this up. Heal, hit one on your keyboard. Now she's doing it. Oh my yep, god. Yep, she has an insane burst. Or wait, clear. No, no, don't do this. This is not the time you, to fight, you Bandit. Have, you have to contest him if he's going to sit there and auto you like that. If he jumps on you, you have to all in. Yeah. Drink. Perfect. Let's do wolves. PT is fun. It's disgusting. So I honestly think the biggest problem there was you taking the time to open that purple crate when Wick Kalan okay. was near you. You should have just kept walking. Once it falls back, you can kind of walk with it. You know, because you want to make sure she's not going to start it. And that's exactly what happened in that situation. Right. Don't go this way. Go down to a hotel. There's a legendary crate down there. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> you want your transitions, right? This is how you get it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, casino patch notes, roll the dice, let's see what we get. My God, is a bit quiet, is it? Hmm. I guess, yeah, it actually is a little bit quiet here. Let me pull it back up. Is it up. teleport now? Yeah. Uh, teleport or walk in, one of the two. TP can be risky. Yeah. You lucked out. Let's activate that console. And then I want you to use that camera that you got, the ones that can be used for range on the bush before you even fucking get close. So like right here, imagine yeah, if Cicela was in that fucked. bush. Yeah. You're yeah. fucked. So that's why those cameras are here, right? So that we can check that bush from distance safely. Yeah, until I misclick the wrong button on it. I walk into place a smart bomb. Yeah, let's head up to the right side, kill these wolves, kill that bear buff, if it's up. Best in slug here, smart balls. <laughs> There's Cicela. Let's keep distance. She has Wick. She's the strongest person in the lobby by far. Ideally, you third party this. Walk. Yeah. Oh, she's that way. Yeah. I was about to say start walking up because we heard her kind of, uh, we saw her on the map kind of walking this way anyways. He's all in you. You have to fight. Can't I just walk away from him? Uh, yeah, that's fine, actually. I didn't think he would peel off so easily. Uh, I also wasn't expecting him to E on to you there, but he did. Yeah, that's fine. That was so close, and you almost died from not popping your ultimate to kill him. Yeah, that's, that's what I- <laughs> When she not queues, you. you have to jump. No, you jumped too early! <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> it was good, it was good. Um, yeah, yeah. So just keep in mind, Bandit Bagel probably should have won there by just popping your ultimate, or his ultimate for the execute. It, right. Whoever does it first, because both of you were in kill range, and I don't understand yeah. why either one didn't, but... Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, that game was kind of like a classic <sighs> example of like, you were able to get some transitions and it actually did help you in the long run, right? Right. But, you know, uh, the biggest problem there was absolutely the Wickline. Um, yeah, I, so do you often open up a bunch of purple crates or did you do that because I mentioned it in the first game? I don't, I, I think I tend to make a habit of just opening crates that I see. That's, yeah, and that's fine, but we had something better to do there as well. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So priorities is making sure that like she can't get the Wickle line and you can. Because if you get Wickle, you have a slight chance, you know? Right. Fuck this character though. Right. S tier is fucked. Honestly. Easily in top four. Um, That was three, right? I think we're probably three, yeah. done for now. Uh, so okay. we can just talk for a bit, right? Th that's normally how yeah. I do it. Um, So you actually do seem pretty solid. 
all in all considered, right? I don't think there's actually too much I can help you with overall other than like some of those small things. Um, I'm hoping that kind of giving you a little bit of guidance on like what to do in the mid game helps, right? Um, yeah, so sure. just to make sure that we're on the same page, um, when you finish your build, if it's like four to five minutes, you can literally go wherever the fuck you want. Just go wherever's close, kill some animals, whatever, buy some time. Once it rolls to six minutes, what zones will you be looking at going to? Hotel, beach, pond, stock. Well, well specifically- wolves and, wolves and bear spawns. Well, yes, but specifically oh, six at seven six seven minutes? minutes? Wolves. Okay. Yeah, six to seven minutes, we want to be looking at wolves. So um, if you like, honestly, just like, don't care too much about the idea of like, oh, well, I want to specifically snipe second wolves. Alley is actually great because let's say you go there and on the map, like no one's killed anything. There's wolves and bears that are there for you, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like you can kill the bears now that they've spawned and then you can do the wolves. And sometimes people pop up an alley late. So it's like, that could be great. Um, but I normally, I, this is preference, like to do hotel and hospital. Factory can okay. be good depending on the meadow, but at the moment there's not a lot of people being in factory uh, late into the game. So it's like if you go there, you're probably just going to find wolves that either aren't dead or you're just going to get wolves with no contest, which isn't ideal. Okay. Ideally, you would get a contest and get a kill. Um, and then seven to eight minutes, or sorry, eight to nine minutes, we want to be looking for bears, which you already kind of mentioned. That's beach and pond. Docks is the dock and temple are the two that I would like put lower on the priority list. Okay. Um, strictly because those are the ones that people aren't really contesting too much at the moment, late game. Gotcha. While Pond and Beach, or sorry, Pond and, uh, yeah, Pond and Beach are. And then Uptown's kind of in the middle ground between them, where it's like, normally what people do is they'll clear the ones at Beach and then go to Uptown, or they clear the ones at Docks and then go to Uptown. So those ones spawn a little bit later. You can actually go to those around like nine to 10 minutes. But okay. sometimes it'll be closed. Um, and then... So we contested Alpha, I think, in two games, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's always something to keep in mind too, right? You, if you're like not too worried about like contesting for animals, you can actually just go to contest Alpha instead. Okay. With Omega, we don't have a great use for four scores, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, keep in to mind that if it's Omega for the free mastery. Yeah, if you can, it is good mastery, and then you can always make yeah. four scores or remote mines. Right. Um, for fighting, we already mentioned the E thing. You did a lot better about it that game. <clears throat> uh, like the last two games, then on the first one, you were actually holding it pretty well. Um, I like kind of how you're like running things. Just make sure that like when you can use your ultimate to execute someone, it's absolutely worth it to do it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I, I know there have been times that I've thought I had execute and I use it, and then the loss of attack speed actually gets me killed. Yeah, it can. If I just attacked like once or twice more, then I would have won it. So I, I tend to be sparing with it. Yeah, it overshoot it a little bit. Just one expect. of those things where it's like when you absolutely know it'll kill, just go ahead and right. drop it. Yeah, gotcha. And then anything else? Your food was actually solid. The one thing that kind of bothered me that game was you were carrying around orchids, but there was actually no use for orchids anymore. Like you, there's okay. no zones left yeah. for glass bottles. So at that point, you either just fucking munch them or toss them. Gotcha. Um, you didn't get too hung up on it. Like you weren't going out of your way to try to find bottles, but it's like it's inventory right. space that's eating up. You could just toss it. For sure. And then your SP is all right. Um, as long as you have like, I always say, as long as you have like two 1080 SP heals going into late game, it's fine. So it's like, I think okay. you're fine there. Okay. Do you have any questions? I don't think so. I think the, uh, the idea of tracking spawns and, and contesting certain spawns was actually super valuable. And that's what I'll try to implement to make use of actually knowing what I'm doing mid game. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest thing that I feel like will probably help you the most. Cause after watching this, I actually think you did pretty solid. Um, you were a little afraid of bait of bagel, but I think you played it well. You ended up winning after all. So it's like, yeah, I, I don't, I think I was less afraid of him and more afraid of the Sisla that I knew was right behind him. Yeah, no. And dropping the rule mines was actually like the absolute correct play there because it's like, you can't run any further. And then you force him to say like, okay, if you're going to engage on me, we're on equal field now. You know, right. and that was exactly what you needed. So it was great mindset, great, right. great, great knowledge there. Awesome. Um, if you need anything else, feel free to message me whenever. I'm streaming from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. pretty much like the rest of the week. So uh, stop by right. whenever, man. Hope you have a good night. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. You too. I'll be honest, Chad. I almost hit in stream. Coming <laughs> guardian of the tree. Facts, facts.
Oh, my neck hurts. So that was solid. Pretty good session, actually. I always enjoy um, getting to do sessions with players of more of that level of play because it feels more streamlined and I feel like it's a lot easier to give the advice they need, you know? It's way harder to tell someone how to actually play the game than it is to say like, hey, you're just doing this one thing wrong. You clean this up, you'll be good, fam. Hey guys, it's me, Motive Games. I'm just here to remind y'all that if you're enjoying the content, drop a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe leave us a comment knowing what kind of content you'd like to see going forward into the future. My editor does a really good job on these videos and works really hard. And any little bit of insight you can give us on what you'd like to see more is really helpful.